<laughs> my car has a coolant leak so we're just trying to diagnose what is wrong i think we found the problem while well, we noticed that there was still a little bit of coolant leaking it was very minor but it was still leaking and yeah the o-rings in the water pump are the real problem because the size of these o-rings have actually expanded Welcome back to part 2 of my Octavia breaking down. Uh it's been a couple of days since we've uh, worked on the car and we were waiting for some parts. Uh we were actually waiting for the water pump. I had to order the water pump. I you know there's no two ways around it and we can't risk opening up a water pump and you know just checking it inside. I mean that's just not something that mechanics uh you know does because they're just like might as well just replace it and be on the safer side so that's what we've gone and done uh, we've already actually opened it the box and everything so it's already going inside right now and apart from that one of the other culprits of the problem apart from the o-rings as you saw apart from the water pump this little plastic bit over here was also leaking pretty heavily uh, so this is the union or the joint that connects the water pump to the oil cooler and the old one was completely damaged like the seals over here were damaged this plastic bit in itself was damaged so we're going to be changing that as well and once that is done i think so the car should be good to go and uh, if this coolant leak issue is solved we will start working again on the infotainment so let's see how it goes and i hope it works So this is my old water pump. I'm pretty sure you all saw it in the last video as well. And yeah, it's leaking well from everywhere at the moment. But this is the crack where it is, uh, and that's where it's been leaking from. So yeah, I mean, no point in trying to salvage this pump anymore. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna throw it away. This over here is the brand new pump. I've got it for roughly around twenty thousand rupees, which is gonna sting my pocket for sure. But I mean. <laughs> what can you do when you want to have something nice you have to pay the price as well uh but i mean i read a lot of forums online the water pump failure and the thermostat failure in this car it's not a really a failure it's more of a leak that starts to build up over time it's a very common problem in the EA888 gen 3 and i mean there have been vrss that have come to mechanics itself which have had 3 4 different water pumps changed over the course of 6 years of ownership so Yeah, I mean this is something that you just have to deal with and it's just a poorly engineered part by the VAG family and I mean you can't do anything about it. So I think we're more or less done the new water pump and the new uh, joint from the water pump to the oil cooler has now all been fitted and uh, once we just put on a couple of couplers we'll sit in and we'll see what happens with the car So the new coolant tank has also been installed on the car now and we're just putting in some water to check the whole system and figure out if there are any more leaks if there are I mean we'll have to open it again but hopefully I mean at least till now we are not seeing any sort of water falling down whatever you're seeing on the ground is just the overflow from the coolant tank so yeah fingers crossed
the water pump has been installed and the coolant leak has been fixed hopefully i mean it's not leaking we kept the car running for 30 or so minutes on the ramp uh, and yeah no leaks at least till now and i hope it stays that way i know it will uh, now let's do what we had initially started the previous episode with which was installing the infotainment system now the infotainment and the media player has been put into its place now we're just coding it so nikhil from n square autotech is now just doing all of the coding and all of the smart stuff so once that is done let's see how it works So we're back again and I think so you guys already know the old screen or like the new screen that we were supposed to put in the one which had the glass and everything well that just stopped working and I mean that screen already had a problem as you see it was damaged and also we went ahead and got a new screen it's not as fancy as that screen but it'll get the job done so let's not waste any time and install it that literally took like 2 minutes to fit in and as you can see the screen is now properly fitted in yeah i mean it's not the fancy glass touch screen that you get in the mk 3.5 but this will do the job i mean my main goal was to get apple carplay and android auto and this was definitely a much cheaper solution as well now apple carplay and android auto won't work for now because i don't have a usb port and this does not have the wireless apple carplay function yet so for the time being i'm just going to use it as it is and maybe in the next episode we're going to install the usb port over here and yeah once that's done let us know in the comments down below what you would like to see next for project octavia as you can see the interior is not in the best of shape at the moment so maybe we start doing some things to the interior my plan is to make it completely blacked out uh, that will look really cool with the black exterior if you have any other wacky idea let us know in the comments down below thank you so much for watching this video subscribe to see more project octavia content and i'll catch you in the next one